What's happening, everybody? Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Mississippi has come out and essentially banned transgender athletes from competing in women's sports. Mississippi has banned transgender athletes from competing in girls and women's sports. Now, I'm going to read you an article from Yahoo Sports just to kind of break some of this down. So, like I said, uh, there's been a big, there's been a lot of controversy between transgender athletes, particularly, specifically biological men competing in women's sports. Now, here's what Yahoo Sports says. Mississippi, first state to pass limits on transgender athletes in 2021 after governor signs bill. It says the governor of Mississippi signed a bill banning transgender athletes from competing on or women's sports teams, making the state the first this year to enact such a law. Republican Governor Tate Reeves signed the Senate Bill 2536 as expected on Thursday. It will become law on July 1, though it could face some legal challenge. A federal court blocked a similar Idaho law last year, writing it, quote, stands in stark contrast to policies of, you know, just some other. They blocked it. But basically, so let's continue reading. It says Mississippi, one of 20 states pushing transgender regulations. Now, Mississippi is the first this year to pass the law, but counts itself as one of more than 20 states attempting. Bills around the country are aiming to place restrictions on athletics and or gender confirming health care for transgender minors. So, like I said, Mississippi has banned transgender athletes and it's particularly, you know, specifically targeting the biological males that are, you know, dominating in some areas biological women in sports the transgender the trans women the transgender women that are competing in female sports women's sports and, and winning and dominating and like having great success and so i am not mad at mississippi for making this law because it, it gives us a sense of uniformity it gives us a sense of okay this is allowed but this isn't it gives us a sense of rules and it's the thing that we need especially in the world of sports right and when you're playing basketball and you're dribbling and you pick up your dribble and you start dribbling again guess what that's called it's called a turnover why because there's rules in place that doesn't allow you a competitive advantage it doesn't allow you to be able to take advantage of the other team in a competitive way it doesn't give you a way to cheat or to cheat the game or cheat the sport right and that is exactly what mississippi's doing when you are a biological man you have a competitive advantage over a biological woman in most cases not in every case not in every case. There are superior athletes that are women. I'm not going to knock them. And there's a number. You could name your favorite one. There are a lot of superior athletes and women. But the overwhelming majority of women are not superior to men. That is why they have different leagues. If, they, if, if men and women were the same type of athletes, we wouldn't have an NBA and a WNBA. We wouldn't have men's track team and women's track teams. We wouldn't have men's this, women this. Like if, if everybody was the same, because everybody's not the same. So we have to be a realistic. And so just because, and here's the thing, Chris Broussard was on our program earlier. Shout out to Chris Broussard of Fox Sports. And he used a really good example. He he, he talked about this a little bit. And this is before, he probably doesn't even know this, this law is now out. He'll soon find out. But he said that, it's so crazy because everything is so fluid because you can't you you can't say who and what is a woman now. Right. So it's like, how do you determine a woman if you're not if we're not going off what you were born or your biological makeup? How do you determine a woman? You can't determine a woman. This is what Broussard used. He said you can't determine a woman by her hair color or her hair length or if she wears makeup, or if she wears dresses, because there's biological women that like to wear pants. There's biological women that don't wear makeup. There's biological women that, that have short hair. So so you can't use those, and you, or her voice, like the way she sounds, right? And then Dr. Boyce in the same interview said, and what happens is if you say, no, you have to go what you were born as, right? Like what you, you know what I'm saying? You were born this way, because that was the term used, Broussard said, was used back in the day when it came to like gay people. It was like you, uh, they were born this way, right? So you have to accept them the way that they're born. Okay. I'm trying to accept you the way that you were born. If you were born as a man, I'm trying to accept you that way. You can't just say you're a woman to try to compete in this, in this field and think that is acceptable. So I am not mad at Mr. Tate Reeves and, and what boy, Dr. Boy said, and, and I want to make this clear. I am not attacking transgender anybody. 
No, I want to make that very clear. I'm not attacking anyone. I get it. You do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm going to do my do me. You do you. And there's nothing wrong with, with whatever we do. But when it comes to athletics, there has to be rules and regulations. The rules and regulations in every other part of life. But now when it comes to athletics, we want to bend the rules or change them up or switch it up. No. You told me to accept you as you were born or accept you as a person or accept you the way you. That's cool. But when it comes to athletics, there's rules in the sport of basketball. There's rules in the sport of wrestling. There's rules in the sport of football. So therefore, we have to keep those rules. We have to keep those standards. It was the word Chris used a lot. Standards. And what Dr. Boy said was that if you don't, if you say what I just said, right, then they come attack you, tell you you're transphobic. They tell you that, 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 you're, that you're doing all kinds of crazy stuff, that you're being whatever. And, and it's so interesting. He says that, right? And I get on Twitter and I'm, and I'm reading about, I'm reading about this new rule, this banning of transgender. Essentially, it's, it's basically pointed directly at transgender women who were born biological men, right? It's, it's specifically this rule is just for them because it says women's sports because you don't see a lot of trans men who are biological women trying to compete with men. Why? Because it's it, the advantage works the other way. The biological men are superior to the trans men. Why? Because the trans men were born women and they can't compete. You can't compete where you don't compare. It's the same with trans women who were born men. You got to stay with me here. I know it. sometimes it can be, you know, kind of confusing saying which one, but I, I've kind of, I think I've mastered it, right? So I'm a look, I'm looking for this tweet that I saw. It was a tweet put out by the ACLU. And this is what it says when it comes to attacking people for just setting some side, like we have to have a, some, we have to have a standard. We have to have some kind of rules, something that we can follow, something that we can go to. And that's what Tate Reeves, the governor of Mississippi just did. And so I, I'm hearing that because the thing is, if you disagree with that, with a certain community or disagree with a certain lifestyle, a certain way of living or whatever, then they attack you instead of just, you know, talking about it or trying to have a conversation, trying to be civil and let the law be the law, right? They attack you. And this is this, the tweet that I saw. When I went and I looked about this law, it's from the ACLU. It says breaking Mississippi governor just signed the first anti-trans bill of 2021 into law. Now it's time to be loud. Trans people belong. See, this is what, no, this is what we're not going to allow. This is, this is the hypocrisy right here. This is silliness. This is not, no, and th this bill is not no damn anti-trans bill. It is a bill is a law that is set some sort of standard. I do not want my little sisters or my mother or my cousin or whoever competing with men in sports. It's not anti-trans. It's just the genetics. It's just what God gives you. It, God gives men, and, and most men, superior athletic genes to women. That's why we have separate leagues. Even in professional world, we have separate leagues. So no, trans people belong. Absolutely they belong. See, and they try to use words that you can't agree with. Trans people belong. Duh, we know they belong. We're not saying that they're unhuman. We're not saying that they can't do whatever the hell they want to do. They just can't compete with the girls. I don't want the, the biological boys competing with the girls. That's it. That is literally it. But you want to use this type of rhetoric and try to paint people as being, you know, transphobic or whatever. And that's just simply not true. It's just simply not true, man. That that right there is disgusting. ACLU, I, I don't really know much about the ACLU, but that right there is disgusting. But that is what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. When these other 20 states try to make similar laws, you're going to see people like the ACLU and the people on the far left or whoever in that, that space try to paint you as a criminal, try to paint you as a villain. And that's simply not who you are. Just because you don't want your 12-year-old niece, daughter, sister, cousin, whoever competing with a 12 year old biological boy or 15 or 17 or whoever. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't want them competing with the boys. That's why they have a WNBA. That's why they have a NBA. <laughs> same thing. It's literally the same thing. I'll leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Jeff Lights Jr. at the Black Boss Channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and 